Hello world, welcome back, welcome back to the Unchristian Podcast. It's 2024, Happy New Year, and uh, I just hope and pray that this year is going to be everything that the Lord wants it to be for you. Thank you so much for being with us again, even in the new year. I hope you had a fabulous festive season, and uh, we really thank the Lord for your life as well. My name is Dubiso Masibugo. Uh, back with you once again on the Unchristian podcast and all our other shows. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't. Why aren't you part of the family yet? You should be part of us. Subscribe, hit the notification bubble. Sorry, hit the notification button. I said bubble. <laughs> hit the notification button <laughs> so that you can remain uh, 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 in in the know concerning all content that we are going to throw at you. Today, I've got an amazing, 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 amazing announcement to make. I'm so excited. I'm bubbling on the inside. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am not alone. I am sitting here next to someone you know and love, Miss Dudunkosi. And we have got amazing news to let you know. <laughs> We are officially welcoming Dudu Ngosi as the new co-host on the Unchristian <laughs> Podcast. Hey, long overdue. Come on, long yes, of course overdue. it is. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I think I've been featuring so yeah, much, people been, think I'm a permanent fixture. <laughs> Like a permanent part of the furniture. You understand? I mean, and Welcome. Yes. This is you. Finally, we're doing this season yes. three. Season three, 2024, and, and we guys. we begin with uh, new talent yes. in this house. That is that new but old talent, eh? New but old talent. I mean, the, pe- the people have been asking. Of course they The have. people have been asking. asking. And they, here you are. And, and here I am, guys. Yes, you yes. have been asking and asking and asking. And <laughs> Salalela says what? Well, We've given the people what they want. We're giving you what you want, guys. Yes, I will be a permanent fixture Absolutely. going forward Absolutely. on our Friday episode. Yes, yes. Yes, so we've got more on Christian content. Yes. And yes, uh, a whole lot more on Christian content for you guys this yeah. year. So it's going to be an exciting one. It is. It's it going is, to be an exciting is. one. We've got a whole lot of things planned mm. uh, and new features here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm uh, excited. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the features and the content that we are going to have, mm-hmm. the discussions we're going to have, all the stuff that is in the planning it's just amazing it is amazing um and uh, it, there's a new freshness that's uh, coming yeah um also uh, uh, we're gonna stay on brand in terms of our edginess no and, of course and, and, of course we, we can't deviate from the brand our our fear for call attitude <laughs> <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> and um, I, I, I really cannot think of anyone better to fill the chair. Oh, thank you. Really, really, really. Thank um, you. The, the people love you. You are an amazing speaker. You, camera loves you. So I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited to have you here. Thank you. Thank to you. To officially so welcome you. Yes, I love gifts. I've got a gift for you. I love gifts. Oh, I love gifts. I love gifts. My gift, I love gifts. Kaka, your very own. <laughs> Unchristian podcast <laughs> T-shirt. There you go. Yes. Where is pride? Nizongbona, guys, and out in the streets on the socials, Nizongbona, Gogeli yes. representing. Of course. Thank you for the warm welcome. Of thank you, thank that, you so much for the warm welcome. Love, love having you here. Um, we did a lot of uh, events. Yes. Uh, November, December, uh-huh. where we were out and about in the streets and mm-hmm. all of that, and uh-huh. um, already the those who interacted with you and all of that, they loved you. Thank you. Yeah, the guys. Yeah. You know, I'm a compliment. I, I, I love compliments. Uh, yes. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Ain't nothing wrong with compliments. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. And, and keep the constructive criticism very constructive. Oh, wow. And less yes, criticism. Yes, please. There. You know how we do here. We're family here, guys. So please, I said please. Yes. Well, I'm excited. Anyway, we, we, um, 2024 mm-hmm. is, is, um, is a year that promises great things. It does. And um, we are going to milk it. We, we are. We yeah, are. We're gonna we are. take it for all that it is. Yeah, we yeah. definitely are. We yeah. definitely are. Um, 2023, we closed it off on a high. Yeah, we yeah. closed up 2023 on a yeah. high. Uh, there were challenges here and there, but yeah. we closed it off on a high. Sure, we, sure, sure. we did quite a lot of uh, Thanksgiving celebrations. Yeah, yeah. And those celebrations within themselves showed us how great yeah. God is. Absolutely. How, how much He's blessed us and yeah. how much 
he wants us in this yeah, space. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. he's opened opportunities for us to grow mm. stronger and stronger, mm, mm, no matter mm. what adversities we faced. Mm, mm. But God made sure what he's in the forefront yeah, and we are moving. Yeah, yeah. We, um, there's a, a renewed sense of, what's the word uh, for us? Uh, direction, maybe. Yeah. yeah. In terms of where we're going, what mm-hmm. we want to do. But uh, people are going to see with all the stuff that's coming that, yes. um, yeah, we are, we are really fired up. For, we, we're fired for, up. For and you guys are coming along on the journey with us. Absolutely. And, um, and this wouldn't have been possible, honestly, without you guys, yeah. without your support, yeah, yeah, yeah. with you engaging with us, entering competitions, and us actually getting to meet yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was you great. You know, that, that, was, was, that was amazing. I remember I had a, a, a very... A, Vivacious lady come up to me and say, like, "Yeah, when I'm a follow on Instagram, you don't follow back." Okay, we <laughs> so, promise to follow. So we guys, promise to follow. Guys, so we promise to follow back. Right. We promise to follow back. Yeah, and man. thank you. That was actually quite needed because yeah. we, I I didn't know her personally mm, as she mm, came mm, and she mm, recognized mm. us. Yeah, your your social media accounts were all private. Yes, right? they were all private Before at the this. time. Yeah, <laughs> they were all private at the time, but now they're open, yes, guys. Yes, yes, so yes, you yes. can follow and I'll follow back. Awesome, and man. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so this love it. Love it, love, love having it. you here. We're gonna have an, uh, an amazing epi- um, conversation as well. Yes, a very unchristian conversation. Yeah, very, very thorny. Yeah. Um, also, you know, in the church circles and all of that. It's, but it's, uh, we, can't, yeah. we can't, we can't get away from and it. And you can't get away. That's you, it. You, you cannot can't. get away from it. You yeah. cannot get away from it because yeah. it's very personal yeah. to to people. But yet, at the same time, it's it, it contradicts religious teachings mm, if i mm, may put it mm, that mm, way mm, 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 so this is going to touch a lot of people i think it contradicts traditional teaching do you teachings. think it's traditional teachings it's traditional though? traditional religious let's put those words yes, together traditional religious let's put those teaching. words together yeah, yeah, yeah because right. if you really dig deep mm. it has been part of tradition in many different yeah, traditions it has, it has, it has. you know so it's traditional religious teachings yeah, yeah, yeah. if you if you look at people's ethnic cultures yeah, yeah. it's been a part of those cultures sure, for sure, thousands sure. and thousands yes, and thousands yes, of yes, years yes, 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 yes. because it was a matter of people's expression yeah, you know yeah. uh people it was a way of them you know born to which tribe and culture that they yeah, belong yeah, to it was an identity yes, thing. yes that's the word right, i was looking right. for it was an identity sure, thing sure, so sure. then when religion came into play, then it contradicted a lot of mm. ways that people thought right, right, and felt right. and expressed themselves going forward. Right, right, right. You know, even if in some cultures it's still in there, mm, you mm, know, mm. especially with the South Pacific cultures. The, yeah, the, yeah. Yes, they, they still put this thing. It's very strong there. Es- yeah. Yeah, yeah. Within their cultures. In, in Upper Africa as well. And so we just going on and going on. You're like, <laughs> like what, what are, are you all talking about? about? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. We're talking about tattoos that and is? piercings. Yeah, tattoos bo. and piercings. As a child of God, Kosiam, yes. are you allowed? Is it a sin? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> what, what do you think? Yeah. And, and we'd love to, to hear your comments definitely, on this. We would love to hear. Because I know a lot of pastors, in actual fact, oh, and oh, definitely. Mam Fundi, oh, oh. especially um, our age group wise. So many of my friends. Right? And people had these things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was still cool and fashionable before sure. the Tolu Sindi, so mm. and, and, mm. and before Christ came into their lives. Yeah. So then people would have tattoos yeah. right yeah. or yeah. over to mark either a loss or mm. to mark a mm. certain success mm. so mm. sometimes it would be like a closure of a particular season sure, sure, or chapter sure, sure, sure. Yeah. in their lives yeah. and they would mark it yeah. Yeah. with 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 that tattoo yeah. the, the, the truth is there are various reasons behind yes. tattoos so many yes. reasons um and we're going to interrogate all of that yeah. and, and and look at to why is there such a strong push against tattoos mm. why is there such a stigma mm. why is it so taboo mm. uh in the church community you think of having te- uh, yeah. te- te- uh, tattoos i want one I also, I, you know, I've been saying that I'm going to get I've one been, since I was 21. Oh, wow. No, it's time to and pull the I'm trigger. And I'm 21 plus vet, man. <laughs> plus vet. <laughs> I'm 
I'm 21 it's plus bad man. And it's time I'm to pull the trigger. One. It's time to pull the trigger on this. So. <laughs> I think so too. I think so um, too. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get one. Uh, piercings, no. Uh-huh. Not for me. Uh, but uh, tattoos, I'm going to get tattoos. Yeah. No, I already got four tattoos that I want. Oh, that I, you want. That I know so where, where they're going to go and what they're going to say, <laughs> how they're going to look. Yeah. Uh, but you know how it is? Uh, uh-huh. With all these thorny issues, you you know, there's reluctance, of course. but also there are reasons and all of that. And uh, yeah, let's get into that. The, the the one verse that everybody I've got my uses, pink Bible, guys. I, guys. I've got my pink Bible, okay? <laughs> and my pink Bible will be a, a feature as well. So, uh, <laughs> the pink Bible will be a feature. So I'll be here all the time. <laughs> so, basically, Leviticus... That's Leviticus chapter 19, right? Yes, Leviticus verse, verse? 19, 28. It right. says, I'm reading from the King James Version, Give so it's Nisakona sometimes, you know? Yeah. Uh, you shall not make any cuttings yeah. in your flesh yeah. for the dead, mm-hmm. nor tattoo any marks on you. Mm. I am the Lord. Yay, yay. So, call me. Wow. He spoke to Moses wow. in so the she, tabernacle. So she looks so much. You know, they were, they were in there. What more do you want to hear? What, like, <laughs> like who, who's are we? <laughs> but then we, we, we seeing still, like you're saying, Christians, mm-hmm. pastors, mm-hmm. all kinds of people, men and women, young yeah. and old, black and white. Doesn't matter. Everybody is having tattoos. Yes. And uh, this is the verse. This is the verse that says, do not. Do not. Do not. What does it really say, though? Um, the context of the verse, even when you go back, mm-hmm. right, into the previous verses, the what is being discussed here mm-hmm. is... Uh, worship of foreign gods. Yes, of and evil pagan gods. practices. Pagan practices, yeah. evil rituals, mm-hmm. rituals to mark uh, death, mm-hmm. uh, to connect to the death dead, as well, yeah. tribute mm-hmm. to the death, mm-hmm. to the dead. And when you look at previous verses in the same chapter, mm-hmm. there are other commandments. Of course. And remember that the law of Moses in its entirety was 613 laws. Laws, yes. Until God was like, I'm getting his niggas out of 10. I did not. What's the amount of 613? No. You see, the 10 came first as a foundation. And, so, and, then, and then all the others he like, continued to build on various places. There were laws about how to wash dishes. Of course. How to do laundry. On how to wear, which you can't mix in your cotton. I'm just paraphrasing here, guys. Your hair. Was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're covering your hair was, yeah. was, 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 yeah, all of that, all was of that. everything. Everything, yeah. everything, everything yeah. was, was a thing. Right. But um, as the years rolled by, religion kind of seemed to push the other ones aside. We cut our beards, we cut you our cut hair. You cut your beard, you cut your hair. Even circumcision is now optional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's now even optional. Yeah. But layer my tattoo. Immile. 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 Because the thing about religion also is that it, like culture, it evolves over time. Yes. And certain things that were not accepted before mm-hmm. are now accepted. Certain mm-hmm. things are being done now that were not being done before. Mm. It, it does evolve with time. It doesn't change in its substance yeah. about, you know, who God is and his mm. will and what does he like for us. But this thing, about it too, has not moved. It has. It, 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 I, I'm not saying that it has not moved, but it's a me. Yeah. There, there has been an inch forward, right? Right. right? But it's similar because I go to a church where one of the youth pastors has a few tattoos. Okay. But obviously, you wouldn't know if you didn't, if he didn't tell you or get a oh. glimpse of it. But okay. Miami Epulpiti, he's always covered, and you don't see them. Is it is is he covering deliberately? Um, no, oh, it's they just, are just, just in positions right, where right, he right. would have to. Oh, you I know, see. show you in order for you to mm, mm. to see them. I have a, a friend, a very close friend of mine. She has tattoos where you can see them, mm, mm, mm. and she serves in the church. Yeah, she yeah, actually yeah. left corporate, right, and went to work in the church full time. Nice with her tattoos that, that show, mm, mm. and she still has ambitions of getting more. Mm. And she got these tattoos, funny enough, before she got saved. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Before she got yeah, saved, yeah. and. Yes, it's amazing how God works. This mm. is a person who knew about church, right? Uh, went 
to church as a child because sure. parents took her to church. Sure. But as she grew older, she then moved away completely from, from church God, and okay. was, was agnostic, I think, oh, for, right. for quite a while. Oh. And one of her tattoos, Lana, it's a faith, hope, and love. Mm, mm, and mm. this, I think, was after a divorce oh. that she got faith, hope, and okay, love, okay, right? Right, right? And and it's a verse. Sure. And um, her name also, it's a, it's a, it's a Greek name, but uh-huh. if you translate it, it's a beautiful Bible verse. Oh, interesting. Do you understand? Interesting. Uh-huh. But she got all these tattoos before she got saved, right? And all these tattoos are literally workings of the Lord mm. in her life before she accepted the Lord in her life. Whoa. Before she had a relationship with God, yes. she had tattoos that had, link up to exactly. what was going to happen in her to, life. What Very was going to happen in her Because most people life. get tattoos that signify something that the Lord has done already. Exactly. In their lives. Yes. But in, in, in this way, it was, it was it, in, this, it, in, in this instant, it happened before. Mm. She she mm. she she mm. had a personal yeah, yeah, yeah. relationship with the interesting, Lord. Interesting. So then, what then happens now? Does she yeah. l- l- get them laser removed, mm. or mm. how how how? What is what is the way forward? Because she still has ambitions of getting more. Also, is 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 salvation? Does salvation have anything to do to do with what's on our bodies? Uh no, <laughs> salvation has zero, <laughs> but, zero to do. But in the New Testament, God tells us that. Our bodies are his temple. Our bodies are his temple, right? right? As much as our bodies are God's temple, it's what you put in, Ooh, right? There it is, there it is. It's what there you it put is. in, yeah, it's yeah. what you think, mm-hmm. it's what you say. And uh, we emphasize so much about what is on the outside. Of how course. How you look and how what you, you look do, what you and, behave. Yep. And we neglect what's really Yep. What really matters on the mm-hmm. inside. Exactly. Yeah. So going to that, I'm going to uh, read Matthew 23, mm-hmm. verse 28. Even so, oh, sorry. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, oh. but inside you are full of hypocrisy oh. and lawlessness. <laughs> okay. So you might not have a tattoo. You might, you might have clean skin. Yeah. But... Your body, your inside. inside. What what does your inside say? Inside, stay? what's the condition? Of, exactly. And, and this this takes us back to understanding that our walk with God is really an internal job. It's a it's a faith journey. Mm. It's a one on one walk in relationship with God, exactly. right? But it's all about what is the condition of your of heart. your heart. Yeah. Because I mean, let's say. Um, in, 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 in the, as, as I said, they mentioned the South Pacific yeah, earlier, yeah. where the Maori still do face tattoos yeah. as, as a way you can be so good to what tribe they belong yes, to and yes. what stage of life yes, yes. they are in. Are you talking the, the region of the world where, that had New Zealand and, the, yes, and those islands, yes, right? Those, yeah, those, those yeah, islands, yeah. Even, even, even Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. Right, even some of the Hawaiian islands, okay. people still practice these oh, things. So be, even till now, in this, in this, in this nowadays, in this nowadays, people still take pride. Women and their face tattoos, you mm. know, because it starts in the chin, you know, to show oh, okay. uh, right, age all right. wise, oh, I see, right, I see. and then your achievements within the culture. Oh, all right, right? right, and which which Dope. which tribe you belong to? Mm, mm. So now, are you trying to tell me, Uguti, <laughs> that is that? I've explained why they do it. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm with that. Forget saying that, but not doing. Yeah. With those face tattoos. Yeah. What are you trying are, to tell are, me? Are we saying those people are going to hell? Uh, uh, is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Obviously, those people now are, are going to hell. Something is not make sure there. We understand. Yeah, Even though they, sure. they 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 live the way the Lord expects them to live. Sure. But because of culture and tradition, yeah. and they love this. The, it was even a big thing. Yeah. I think it was on CNN when the first newscaster mm. in New Zealand somewhere, mm. um, first female newscaster yeah. with a face tattoo. A face on tattoo? National on, on national TV? Yes, because like on, on, on the chin. It starts ah. on the chin, and then and depending, and then ah. it grows. Right. Okay. So, uh, what, what are you trying to tell me about her? Which is just because her tribe, she wanted to do something tribal, mm. something to show yeah. wh- where she comes from and mm. who her people are. Mm, mm. Does that have anything to do with her, her walk be. with Christ? It can't be. It can't be. But if someone is listening and, and, and they say, guys, but the vestal stands. The vestal stands. So, our, our, our point is that we've become very selective mm. in how we approach that chapter. Of course. Uh, we've left the others. We are mm-hmm. eating 
meat mm -hmm. that has got blood. Of course. We are eating pork. Yes. Uh, we are not, we are wearing garments with mixed materials. Yes. yes. We're doing so much that is not, that is against um, Judaic culture. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing as well that the law was given to the Hebrews, to the mm. Jews, mm. not really heathens. Mm -hmm. I mean, not really, uh, what's the word? N not pagans, what's the word? It's not heathens, it's not pagans. Um, Gentiles. Oh, Gentiles, that's, yes. that's, who, that's all who we are, uh -huh. uh, people who are not Jewish. Uh -huh. We love God. God sent Jesus to die for us so yeah. that we can also be engrafted in his family. Mm -hmm. And um, But the law itself was given to the Jews. Yeah. We, in the New Covenant, the New Testament, we are not bound by the law of Moses. No. We're yeah. not we're not bound by and, Mosaic and, law. Yeah, and we should not be selective then. Yes. In how we approach, approach all of this. But the thing is also the context under which this was written. Yeah. It was to honor the dead. Yes. We have tombstones for that now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Kala Ukumbo Lugu said this forty day this this forty year journey mm, that mm. Moses and the Israelites mm. took. Mm. Right? They were burying people in random places in the yeah. desert somewhere. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. obviously to remember that person, you would mm. mark, mm. you know, you would mm. make some sort of mark. Like sure. we do now. You yeah. know, people have birthdays and death dates sure. of, of their loved mm. ones. Mm. We do that now, you know. Yeah. And so how do, how do we then reconcile that? Because Ukumbuli, your skin is almost like a canvas. True, right? true. It, it was the, literally the first yeah. form of canvas yeah, yeah. that there was before the discovery of paper. Yeah. Yeah. You know, next to rock, <laughs> yes. the next best thing was your skin. <laughs> yes, yes. So, and that is how people used to do it. Mm. So now, are you now trying to tell me, or what's the people who then um, do birth dates and death dates mm. of, of their loved mm. ones or have mm. stars, mm. is that now still considered a pagan? Or mm. is, it, is it just a way of, of, of honoring? Yeah. Personally, I don't see a problem if you write the birthday of a child mm -hmm. or even not a child, any loved one, mm -hmm. uh, death day even. I don't mm -hmm. think there's a problem with it, even even in today's context. Mm -hmm. The particular context when this verse was given was in a time where these tribes and nations that were surrounding Israel, mm. um, they had certain religious and cultural practices that that were dedicated to number one, foreign gods, mm -hmm. but also to their dead. You see, so right. so there was then a difference. There was a huge there difference. There was a huge yeah. difference as to how this whole tattooing thing yeah. was. Today it's more of cosmetic. Yes. And it's more of uh, expression. It's of, more of, artistic. Yeah. It's more this and that. Mm -hmm. um, in some places, we'll, in some instances, we'll, we'll, we'll address it. In some instances, it's protest and rebellion. Yes, against against, the against something. Yes. Yeah. Well, speaking of, of protest and rebellion, um, I just want to take it back before we get, we get there. It's yeah. um, in the military, right? right? When right. you're being honored in the military, mm. you get medals, tons yeah, and yeah, tons yeah. and tons yeah. of medals, you know, to show. And you get um, a lapel's yeah. alcohol with yeah. the different uh, stripes and stars sure. to show how far you are mm. within certain rankings yeah. and within certain military structures. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now, back in the day, before these things happened, depending on how many people you killed, mm. you got tattoos. Mm. Depending on how many people... You know, you killed how many wars you fought. You had skin yeah, lesions yeah, that were yeah, done. Yeah. And uh, some African tribes still do still that. Do that yeah, we yeah. do it too. Now, like South Africa, mm. we're double. You know, True, oh, there's Gaba a that, is, uh, is, is closer to this yes. okay. than tattoos and piercings. Than tattoos, yeah. right? Gaba is closer. Oh, 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 is. Because <laughs> you can actually tell, and there's mm. reasoning why. I didn't mm. grow up in a family. Yeah, yeah. So, and sometimes um, Gaba is for health reasons. Yeah. You know, in yeah. some Philippine um, cultures, mm. in, 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 those, in those islands, mm. they, they do oh, 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 like tattoos mm. for health reasons. In really? the joints, yeah. 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 In, the, in the joints. Uh, Didn't people, know this, yeah. people do tattoos right. for health reasons. Sure. So, Nati, as black people, in Anima Gula, evil spirits, and this, this, mm. this, that, and the other, 
we are stuck. Stab and put muti in it, yeah. And put muti in it. Yeah. And then even on the skin lesions, we are bunaga lugu to Yes. The whole cutting off the pinky thing. Yeah, in such an closer you know, cultures, yeah. Right? Yeah. And Zulu cultures too. Body I didn't know mutilation. That, yeah. yeah, body mutilation. Yeah, bunaga lugu to, okay, if you're missing a pinky, the top part of your pinky means finger. you're part of this tribe. You're part of this tribe. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. your earlobes, because remember, even. Yes. Nente okfagi yeah, class, yeah. those big earrings. Yeah, in the. <laughs> <laughs> in the Zulu culture. I find that so weird, guys. I'm Zulu. <laughs> But I find it so weird. That right? Thing. In the Zulu culture. And and now the Americans have modernized it. Mm, right? Mm. They have modernized this whole thing of, of making your ears longer, calling mm. it body modification. Right. But in Africa, it's been traditions that had been practiced yeah, for, for years. For years, for years, yeah. yeah, yeah for yeah. years. And so now you telling me, good, you're born into a family, you're born into a family that cut your finger. Mm, mm, mm. And you're born into a family that did whatever it is mm, to you. Because... Mm. And in in some cultures as well, because sometimes identical twins are born, yeah. and you don't raise the child by yourself. The child is literally raised by a village. Yes, you know yes. that's so, African. And even in Asian cultures, mm. and so people don't know how to tell the difference between a child and one mm. of the twins is given a tattoo. Oh, right, you know, like right, a, like right. A, like a dot like under mark. the foot or somewhere under hidden. Head. Yeah, yeah, somewhere hidden to mark which one are you. <laughs> <laughs> so are those people going to hell? Right. <laughs> <laughs> are those people going yeah, to hell? Yeah, because yeah, now yeah. they've been given these things. Sure, and sure, these sure. Uh, army generals, yeah, you know, yeah. the crusaders mm, mm. who fought the Christian wars mm, mm. would have massive um, tattoos of yes. the cross on, on their, their chest. Yes, yes. Or would you, should they die, then they'd be given a Christian burial. Yes, it'd be known. Or would you, or would you, uh, was I was a religion, crusader, what nation they come from. Yeah. So are you trying to tell me that they are in hell? Or would you, well, crusaders? Yeah. Crusaders were, were like staunch <laughs> yeah. Christians, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, we, we've got nothing on those guys. Right, right. You know, that fought Christian yeah. wars. So are you trying to now tell me? Yeah. Or oh, what's it? Those guys who fought religious wars. <laughs> and I'm Are they hell? No, I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> highly, highly. <laughs> now, you mentioned a word that's so important, body modification. Yes. How, how, how far can we go? Hey, people go far. People in, go in, far. You know, but how far is appropriate? I think that's the word. Appro- how socially far is appro- appropriate. Social, hey. Well, socially, morally, and religious, yeah. religiously, I guess. Hey, I don't know. People, how far? people take it very far. Because, because uh, body modifications can also speak about cosmetic surgeries. Of course. Cosmetic surgeries, having your... Yeah. Uh, your 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 essentials. Yes. Done. Uh, tweaked and yes. Because you, I mean, you, you had a, an episode. Yeah, where we uh, talked about that. Where yeah. you talked about about yeah. Ugo's lungis yeah, and yeah, and, yeah. and and reversing the aging is, process. Is, is it not a problem? Shouldn't we just uh, uh, leave the earth as we came? Gunzima, hey, <laughs> we, we, we're not even li- leaving the earth umsaba, literally, as as we found it. We're building houses. We are True. doing this. We oh, are that's doing a big this. Point. Oh, that's a big you point. know, yeah. so even the the soil. But from you know, what about us? Uh, Modifying what God gave you. I know you're you're, Tolute, you're not happy with what your mama gave you. I know. So. I know. I know. This sounds wrong. Yeah. But it's 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 like uh, you know what God. This is a beautiful masterpiece, but I can tweak it. <laughs> Very controversial because who, who are we to tweak? Exactly. So who are we? But First Timothy, um, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go to Ufe, Utimoteu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, First going, Timothy. Yeah, First Timothy two verse nine. Right. Right. It says, in like manner also that the women adorn themselves mm. in modest apparel. Yeah. With propriety and moderation, yeah. not with braided hair, gold or pearls mm. or costly clothing, mm. but which is proper for a woman professing godliness with good works. Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. Mm-hmm. So are you trying to tell me with my guy? Because braiding braiding yeah. On its own is is a deep African culture. Oh, yeah. So let me tell oh, yeah. you a little fun fact. Mm. Uh, most of you might know this, but during uh, slavery, right, women, if they knew what their daughter was going to get sold mm. or mm. whatever the case was, they would put rice. They would uh-huh. uh, uh, hence they call cornrows. Oh, yeah, right. They would they would they would put rice in the hay. Uh-huh. They would what? be able to plant 
What? Yes, they would be able to plant the the the, the rice the and the corn, the... the seeds that were in the hair. So ma ma loga, when you're braiding the hair, you would braid the rice and the corn. I didn't know this. And the wheat <laughs> in the hair. Into the hair so that yeah, so they that can when survive she gets when they there, get there. She, they, they will be able to survive. Good Lord. Braiding was also a way of, of showing which culture you belong yes, to. Yes, yes. You definitely. know, um, yeah. what, where, where your social standing was. Yes, yes. Are you royalty? Are you a yeah, servant? Yeah. Are you, so your hair, your braiding as well, it was a way to show people. Yes. Uguti. Mm, mm. And even now, and, and all forms of jewelry, and, some and, different and all kinds of things. Exactly. Yeah. Even even I was still literally just on the hair, because mm, mm. even with men, the way you would cut your hair, mm. the way you would, you know, show. I I don't know if um, most of you watched Ushaga Ilembe. Yeah. That when they are boys, they have different haircuts. Mm, and then mm, when they are men, mm, they've got different haircuts yeah, 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 again yeah, yeah, to yeah. allow for umkele yeah, to sit yeah, yeah. on the hair. Yeah. So do you understand? Uguti, even those practices mm. had certain meanings. Yeah. You know, like the Chinese people, Uchetli, yeah. <laughs> with the bold yeah. patch and then yeah. the one patch of hair with the long yes, ponytail. Yes, yes. That also, also is cultural. Asian yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, it's cultural. You know, it is what it is. Um, I mean... You get Asian women who mm. grow, Indian women mm. specifically, mm. who grow their hair mm. to such great lengths and then they go and they offer it yes. to, to, yes. to, to some god of, yep. I'm, I'm sorry for not knowing which, mm. which one it is, but they offer it either once mm. a year or mm. once per lifetime yep. or however many mm. years, mm. right? And, and that is and that this a way of them to connect with their higher being. Sure, sure. And then you get in South Africa, Ndebele women. Yeah. Ndebele women, I think, are the most adorned women. Oh, with, yeah, with, with jewelry and, and stuff. And, and, yeah. and jewelry yeah. and, and things like that. Yeah. I so, thought it was Zulus, but Ndebele's, no, Ndebele's the, the Ndebele's really take, go take, in. Take, they go they, in. They, they, they take it yeah. with, with all of that. Yeah, yeah. So now, are you trying to tell me, Uguti, because now, culturally, to identify as to who you are, mm, mm. you are now... You know, yeah. uh, uh, going against scripture, yeah. or yeah. if you take it in context, mm. the writer of the book was talking to people who went to church. Yes. to church. I'm here so you can see how righteous yes, I am. Yes, yes, going yes. back to that first, yes. Uguti, you might outwardly behave yeah. righteously, but inwardly, but inwardly, how what's your are situation? you? What's yeah. your situation? Yeah. Same with these adornments. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. with these braidings. Yeah. Uguti, why are you doing this? Are yeah. you doing it so that you like Yazin? I am doing this for myself. Yeah. I look good. I like me. I'm comfortable with mm -hmm, me, mm -hmm. and I'm going out into the world. Mm -hmm. And and this is is is, this is, is who me. I am. Yeah. This is who I am. Mm. Or are you going out there like, hey, look at me? You can tell that I'm rich. True, I'm this. True. I'm this. So I, am I going into the house of the Lord sure. looking like this to serve the Lord, sure. or am I going into the house of the Lord to have the attention on me now? Right. And distract him from sure, sure. the word. Yeah. Or, 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 or get attention from or me. Or get attention from me. Make me feel me, good. Yeah. Make me feel good. So it all depends on your inside. In right. a so at the core of this is motives. <laughs> exactly. It's always That's motives. It. Why, it's always motives. Why are you putting in uh, piercings? Mm. Why are you having tattoos done? Mm. That, that is where the conversation should lie. Because mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is the Bible does not give us a directive mm. of yes or, or no. no. And what That's I think truth. as people, we have condemned things that Jesus didn't condemn. Yeah, he didn't. We, we yeah, as didn't. people decided to focus on the law yeah. and not the messaging of Christ. Which is a relationship Christ with Christ. Would would chastise the Pharisees all the time. Mm. Oh, you are so concerned about law, mm, mm. but you are not concerning yourself with the people. Mm, mm, you are not concerning yourselves with loving the Lord your right, God with right. all your heart and all your might. Right, right. Nina, you are just concerned about acting right yes. and being righteous. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and, you know, there's nothing you can do as a human being. Mm. To get God's grace and mercy. And no, favor. nothing. It's undeserved. <clears throat> it, it, it's 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 it undeserved. Really is. It is, it is, so it, is. it doesn't really matter what do you do to prove to the world, yes. or to whether you are holier yeah, than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It that's doesn't right. really that's matter. Right. So there are children who, not children, yeah, children because they're mm. under 18, they would have tattoos because they're trying to rebel against their parents. Of course. So in that instance, it's sinful. Yes. Because we've got a clear biblical directive about obeying our parents. Exactly. Okay, so that's it. There are people who would have tattoos because um, they want to connect mm-hmm. to another God. Yes, that is, that is that's true. Wrong. That is wrong. That's clear. That is it's wrong. It's all about why. And like Dudu was saying, people who want to draw attention to themselves... Mm. That is sinful as well. Mm, that, that oh, that is, is sinful. sinful. That is sinful that, because that it's not about us. Sinful. It's not about what's happening on the outside. It's about Christ. It's Christ. about revealing Christ, not revealing ourselves. Oh, so, exactly. So um, we need to look at why are you doing that tattoo mm. and is your motive then, not the tattoo, but your, your motive. motive. Is your motive yeah. godly or ungodly? Ungodly. That's when, is it, that's when the conversation about is it sin or not. Oh, is it, it exactly. Through. You know, as you're saying uh, that, uh, I'm thinking about the Japanese Yakuza. So mm. it's, it's gangs. It's Japanese gangs, oh, all right, right? Right, right? The Yakuza is, is, is like the mafia uh, okay. of, of, of Japan. Sure. They've got beautiful tattoos. Oh, okay. Um, and those tattoos are obviously related to you being a gang member. Yes. But when they're dressed, you don't see them. Mm. You, mm. Don't, you, don't, you don't see those mm. tattoos. It's mm. only literally yeah. when they get naked yeah. because they, 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 their daily attire mm. is literally suits. Right. Covered right. up. Yes, yes, yes. You know, but it's only when they get naked mm. that you then see. Then that's when you see them. That's yeah. when you see yeah. the tattoo. Yeah. So now I just want to flip this and reverse mm. it. Oh, we'll see. You're always dressed to the nines. You're mm. always dressed respectable. But sure. when a, when you are naked, mm. and I'm not saying physical nudity, but mm. nudity of Ngapagat, of which soul. when you are yeah. stripped, yeah. what is there? What's left? What's Ooh, left? That's big. That's big. What that's is big. left? If we take away everything that's everything. on the outside yeah. about who you are, mm. your title, your work, what you have, where you live, yeah. and you're stripped. And you're stripped of your money. You're What's stripped left? of your position. You're stripped of your power. Can God still be found when you're stripped? When you're stripped. Yeah. That's the better question. That is. Honestly, that is that's the, the question. question. That's the better question. I, I, I fully get you there. Now, appropriateness also comes up. So uh-huh. what's appropriate? In terms of tattooing, you get certain Ooh. jobs that don't that don't say no tattoos, no tattoos, and and, and understandably, you know, we because can of the profession, people just the, people judge always people judge you at first sight, obviously. Yeah, for you know? and uh, so what? Who determines what's appropriate? Also, that's another question. I think you know it's very subjective. That answer is subjective, but the military had a beautiful way of answering uh-huh. that that question. Mm. Um, people would fight to get into the military and dress in their religious, mm. re, um, you know, regalia. Mm. And the military is like, well, you wanted to be in the military. Yeah. This is how the military works. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? So if you want to wear what you want to wear, then mm. leave the military. Uh, A whole system yeah. is not going to change just gonna to bow down to your preferences. You yeah, and yeah. your preferences. Sure, sure, sure. So if you don't want to follow the lines if you don't want to adhere to the dress code. Yeah, yeah. Me. Okay. Now that speaks about the context of where you are mm. as a person. As a person. To speaking into the uh, appropriateness uh, issue, that, right? That is also. But it, now we can also talk about the appropriateness of the specific tattoo. Like, what have you drawn on your skin? Ooh. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is also right, a, a, right. a, a big one. So, if you are a nurse, for instance, but yes. you've got tattoos of Dead death. Bodies. <laughs> that, that does not give that, me confidence in, in, in your nursing yeah, skills. Or what's yeah, on pillies, on pillies, I know, what's going know, on here. Or um, and right. you've got the all-seeing eye on your face. Yeah, or I've got a skull. And, and you've got a skull and crossbones, you uh, know. So it, it also, that, that's why symbols, I say, symbols, or what's it, the, the symbolism of it and the appropriateness the symbolism of, it, yes. of, of, of the institution in which you want to yes. get into. Yeah, yeah. You know, you cannot get into a corporate space. Yeah. And and I, I, I work in corporate where men now mm. want to come to work with their nails painted. <laughs> yes. You know. I'm seeing that more and more. <laughs> and, and straight men. Full yeah. Straight yeah. men with, with better nails than I do. <laughs> and they want to come into their space mm. and impose now what they want. What they want. Yeah. 
you know. Currently, what is the attitude in corporate about that? About it, 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 it depends on the industry, yeah. and it depends on even, even, it's even sometimes even department specific. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you get or go to, you work in a client-facing yeah. environment where yeah. the client-facing people are in suits mm, and mm, perfect mm, haircuts. Mm, mm, mm. In the same building, the IT department is uh, in shorts. They're in the basement. They don't care. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're the ones with the tattoos, yeah. with the sleeves that you can yeah, see, yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that. So it. It depends on the space in which mm, you're in. It, mm. it depends on how you want to be identified yeah. as too. Yes, you know. So it it all it it's it's I a very you. broad yeah. spectrum, yeah. and this is also a very personal one too. Mm, mm, mm. Because as we had mentioned, you have pastors who have tattoos, yeah. but because they know they're in a particular space, mm. those tattoos are covered. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's right. only when how they are wearing a short sleeve. How yeah. passed down their tattoo? Yeah. Others just oh, just have the tattoo open. Yes, openly. Um, like what is this? Uh, this Hillsong Hillsong mm. pastors. Uh, yeah. You know, some uh, of them they do like rock concerts. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you have you have pastors. Leather um, jackets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, leather jackets. You know, those. Uh, <laughs> God, there's a, there's a, there's a Hollywood name for for these pastors who who dress and preach as if they are in a rock concert and they <laughs> okay. dress that's how much 2000 <laughs> yes you know 40 year old man <laughs> right a 40 year old man dressed as a 2000 <laughs> and because of the tr- a crowd that they try to attract mm. right then it's it's appropriate yeah but at the end of the day it's the message in which they are driving yeah so also you're bringing something important. The messaging of mm. that tattoo yes. is, is important. It's important. So as a child of God, rather ask yourself, this tattoo that I want, what is the message? Messaging. What is the connotations? What Reading between the lines, what's the symbolism mm. of it? And if you Those are the things that you should consider. In your youth, and you look at it now, are you able to live with it? Mm. Because sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, we mm. grow. Very the important. The us that we were 20 yeah. years ago yeah. is not the us that we are now. Very important consideration, Uti. In 20 years' time, will I be able to live with this? Will I be happy with this? Same old cool, do miss. Usu koko, usu koko tut. And the footy, also because the skin loses elasticity, oh, guys. Good Lord, don't even talk about Age. that. Don't even. <laughs> The aging process is not a it's joke. It's not kind. Once upon a time, you had a tiger. You see, can't tell. I was not Miss Zeb. Tiger is tired. <laughs> it's losing its stripes. Tiger is tired. So I guess we go to those are also deep yeah. considerations. But yeah. now with modern advancements, you can remove them. You can remove, you can modify them. You can too. modify yeah. them. Yeah. You can, you know, type a, I belong to smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Or something <laughs> on your neck. Actually, it's more. She is saying king anyway. I'm so the flower. El Gaga, I go watch it because you're covering up with whether you belong to smoke. Very funny. <laughs> so I think yeah, it's yeah. things like that that we need yeah. to consider. And then also, oh, uh, before yeah. I forget, yeah. Married couples, some of them are opting for tattoo rings. Like, yeah, instead of ring rings. Instead of yeah, ring rings, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, with yeah. the wedding date yeah, and the yeah, person's yeah, name yeah, that yeah. they're marrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is also another thing yeah, that people do these days. Like, something. no, I don't want a ring, but my wife and I are getting a tattoo. A ring tattoos. Are they going to hell? Are they going to go to hell? It's because a symbol of their I mean, love. It is a symbol of their love, yeah. and 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 marriage is blessed by God. Yes, it is. It, yes, it, it is. is a blessing yes, from God. So, are they going to go to hell? Yep. For, yep, yep, yep. for 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 symbolizing their wedding mm, and their mm, marriage mm, like that mm, because mm. Okumbo Lefutsuguti wedding rings mm. right wedding rings mm. is is also a, no the, guys I'm not married by the way <laughs> this this is my grandmother's <laughs> ring uh, this is my grandmother's ring uh, she died uh, almost thirty years ago but uh, the ring was handed down to me so nice. what is 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 instead of me having my grandmother's death date or got the ring oh, i've got her ring yeah yeah so now uh, what, what, now we get what you know what is this uh, <laughs> what are we saying what's what, the scripture for what, what you're are we doing? saying about me? like guys what are we yeah. saying? there are also medical concerns yeah. medical considerations mm-hmm. it's okay get it there too but me- medically is it is it okay for is you it, yes firstly do it somewhere where you will not get sick or infected yes. or something like yes. that. That's taking responsibility for the temple. Exactly. Also, if you have a skin condition mm, that doesn't allow, allow you, you, are you yes. aware of it? Are yes. you, you know, that also must be a, a thing. You know what I learned from Dr. Pimple Pop? Yeah. Yes, Dr. Pimple Pop. <laughs> are you a fan? <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm right. a fan. Um, keloids. Mm. We call it upiba. 
wait there, but you know mm, when you mm. when you when you pierce your ears yes. and then you start having a, a growth. growth. Yeah, yeah. You know, those 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 are the type of things yeah. that you can consider and it's very prominent in, 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 in black people. Yes. You yes. know? Yes. Uh, we have them a lot. Yes, we, we, we have them. Okay, we have them a lot, <laughs> <laughs> especially if your skin is very pro. It's, yes. it's melanin deep it, oh yeah. <laughs> and melanin rich. Mm. You know, like you'll have a scar, mm. and it takes forever for that mm. scar to heal. Mm. Mm. And when it does heal, it becomes a yeah. totally different. I think I'm getting keloids on my back scar. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I think so. I'm feeling, I think I'm you, feeling a little bumpy. A, a little. Yeah, you, know, you uh, must. You must go. You must uh, uh, get them. Get them checked sure, out. Sure. So it's things like that that you need to consider. Mm. Will your skin be able to handle? Exactly. Such, such such things, exactly. and the way African people did their skin lesions, it was to accommodate keloids mm, because they mm. were bumps on the skin, mm, not mm. just cuts, Proper bumps. but bumps on yes. on on the skin yes. to actually make it look a yeah. particular way. And and it was one of the things they were doing in the context of that Leviticus verse, yes. where, it, where they would make scars or cause keloids to grow yes. in a particular pattern. Pattern. Or in a particular form, so mm. that you will see, uh, you can this see. Is, this is what I'm yes, trying to say. What I'm trying to say. Yeah. This is who I'm honoring. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. as we had said, Uguti, guys, this it's a personal choice. It really, is a personal choice. It's a personal and, choice. And the Bible tells us in the Book of Hebrews that where the Bible is silent, mm. we use our convictions. Yes. Our Amen. conscience. Yes. To give us direction. To give us direction. Okay. Because so, and and this speaks. On so many issues yes. that the Bible is not direct on. On like, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's there's a lot. Like there's adoption, a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, surrogacy, 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 divorce. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, drinking wine. Yeah. Uh, wearing and those are certain topics clothes. that we've actually covered. Yeah, we've covered some of we've them. We've covered some of the topics yeah. in, in 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 the in the podcast before. Yeah, yeah. Season so, one and two. Yeah. But the point about that is, is that when you do something against the conviction. Mm. of the Holy Spirit, mm. whether it's a yes <clears throat> or a no, and you go against it, then it becomes a then sin. It becomes so a for sin. me, I can have a tattoo right here or whatever. You have the same idea, mm-hmm. and then the Holy Spirit says no. No. Should you go ahead in the name of Pastor Ndumiso has done it? You are going to get... Uh, it's sin. You, you, what, what is that? Gangrene? And you're going <laughs> to chop your... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how... I don't know about that much. Body parts are going to be chopped off. So body parts are going to be chopped <laughs> off. <laughs> well, I was in a gangrene when I was because you can. went and you did dodgy tattoos <laughs> and you had prison tattoos. And hey, yes, there was a yeah. time where they used to burn Kondahin Lento M. It was also like a popular accessory, uh-huh. like a rubbery black really? uh, bracelet. Things. I remember that. I remember yes. that. It was black. Yes. I, I used to wonder what is that. And they would burn that thing, take a needle, and that's how they do tattoos. Really? So, yes, because it was now. Well, these were fake tattoos. Like no, these were like uh, no, street but tattoos. Still there. Those are prison tattoos, and that's how they make tattoos I, I in no prison. Idea. You know, and even ukmaka in komo. You yeah, know, when yeah. you when you when you mark your cows yeah, and things, yeah. you unfortunately give them tattoos yeah, because you burn that iron yeah, rod yeah. and you burn <laughs> that thing on the cow's on the bum, yeah. and you know the co- the cow now has a symbol of of your family. Yeah. So should it ever get lost? But now the, the question is: Here's someone who does. Piercings. Yeah. Four nose rings, six earrings, earlobes are all packed up, nipple piercings, everything. Everything is done. Ev- everything is done. Nimble, Lips, everything, Lips. everything, everything. Does that get to a point where it's, it's wrong? I, I think it and, gets and, and too why much. and why are we saying it's too much? It's, it's whose standard much. is that too muchness? It's the normal standard. <laughs> no, I, I, what I know, is normal? <laughs> What is normal? No, I'm just, I'm just being a uh, uh, difficult here. <laughs> but sometimes you do get yeah. people who have, who look like a decoration of a jewelry store. Yeah, you know, yeah. because yeah. of all like these things. Advertising what jewelry? Yes. Is. And and for me, I think to that at some point becomes about self. Or what I want yeah. to shock people. You yeah. know, I want to give yeah. people that shock factor. Yeah. I mean, there was this guy who split his tongue in two, oh, like, and every like single yes, and his tongue literally. To understand, could so he speak? Like no, he could speak, but uh, his tongue was just funny. And people who change, there's a guy whose goal in life is to have lizard skin, mm. and he's changed the color, tattooed his eyes 
his eyes. You can tattoo your eyes. What? Every single know this. part of his body, even the bottom of his feet, his hands. Tattooed. Is tattooed. I didn't know this. You know, everything, rough. everything, everything. So for me, it's are you accentuating what God gave mm. you? Like people who do plastic surgery feel that they do yeah, it? Yeah. Or are you completely moving off the mark? And being botched. And being and literally botching <laughs> yourself because you want to look like yeah. what Hollywood has told yeah, you yeah, alien yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah. Jeez, you know? Because that's crazy. his goal. He wants you to know? look like an alien. He wants to look like an alien. He's cut fingers off. They've you know, put in other uh, things. Clearly, something in right. So there. clear, exactly. Yeah, yeah. When, when does it? When does it get to a point where this is a mental health situation? Because <laughs> good point. Good even point. with with surgery, mm. right? Plastic surgery. Yes. It sometimes doctors tell you, Uguti, this is no longer got to do with your body image. It's got now to do you, with your mental I'll health." Also right, Dimash. When does Actually, it get to that they, point? They always involve a psychologist in the yes. process leading up to. to yeah, they do. Because yeah. um, most of the problems that we have with our bodies, whether it's obesity or some other problems, mm. um, if we deal with the mental problems behind it, mm -hmm. the need for wanting to do that procedure goes away. It goes away. Yeah. So now we, we also have to, 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 to look at that. So what it is now literally about your body mm. or about your mental yeah. state. Yeah, yeah. Because that now will determine, what it, are you really taking this? Imagine this woman who wanted to look like Barbie. She was already beautiful, yeah. But she modified went. and went way too far. Mm. Donatella Versace, aga mubi, aga mubi, <laughs> your mama with all her millions because <laughs> of surgery. Of, of, of surgery. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it, it gets to a point where life just becomes difficult because mm. of all these modifications you've done. Exactly. Your quality of life is disturbed. It, it deteriorates, yeah. and tattoos are actually quite addictive as well. That's the other thing. That's, are you that's, addicted to the? Is ink? it now become an addiction? Or which you're yeah. addicted to the 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 pain and the that's excitement the of yeah. getting a new tattoo. You know what I heard as well? There mm -hmm. are people who use the pain of having a tattoo as a some kind of religious or spiritual sacrifice oh wow and those are satanists yes specifically yeah you they see. see that pain as i'm sacrificing a piece of myself too so it it it, 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 it goes deep and also for for mental health uh reasons you know there there are people who cut themselves mm, mm. you know um uh they cut and they burn themselves in order to feel something. Mm. And now people get they're tattoos. Numb on they're the feeling numb on the inside. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, they, yeah. they're hurting and they, they, they cut yeah. and they're feeling numb on the inside. So instead of cutting or burning yourself in places where people don't see, mm. then you get tattoos mm. so that you can experience yeah, the pain you. and, yeah, yeah. you know, feel something. Right. So that is my thing. Uguti, it's it's a personal decision, but we must also think: oh, is this a mental decision now, mm -hmm. or is this really because of what my body wants? Right, right. Am I and doing why this? do I want it? Exactly, I was about to say: yeah. Am I doing this because I want attention? Yeah. Or am I doing this purely for me? Yeah. You know, I I had a a, a belly ring for the longest of mm, time, mm. and people would be surprised mm. with how. Mm. Oh, you have a baby yeah, ring. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, but it was for me. Yeah. It wasn't it so that... <laughs> I, I, do you understand? It wasn't so... I, I, you Never would you see me mm, mm. With, the, with the crop top sure, and, sure, the, sure. you know, me showing my figure. Sure, sure. And not that it's a second. <laughs> 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 so, but do you understand? Yeah. So that was for me. Mm, mm, it wasn't for the masses. Right, it wasn't for the right, public. And right. I would buy nice mm, belly rings, mm, you mm. know? That nobody would see, sure. but it was for me. Yeah. I, I think in that situation, you're describing something healthy. Mm. Unlike doing it for the shock. For the shock for, value. For the rebellion. Yes. For, uh, I don't know, whatever, for protesting something. Exactly. For some kind of spiritual uh, worship of some sort as uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. None of that. Mm -hmm. None of that. Even, if, even if you do a cross mm. and you say you're doing it to worship God, mm. even that is wrong. Mm. He doesn't want us to worship him with marks and on our body. He wants, and he wants the heart. The heart. So you can have a big cross on your chest or your arm, but what's the condition? But what's the condition of your what, heart? What is the condition of That's your right. heart? That's right. You know, it always boils back down to inga parati yes, If yes. you really think about mm, it, your mm, mental state, mm. spiritual state, your spiritual state. Yep, yep. And your health, your body inside, your yeah, health. Yeah. 
What's the condition of your Because sometimes body? people find out to go to the uh, allergic to the ink. The ink or something. Then it's a problem. To, to the ink. Mm. And that's, and that's mm. a problem. Mm. You know, and henna is, is one of the most natural mm. tattoo inks. But obviously it's temporary okay, tattoos, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people use henna for many different reasons, like when um, Indian women get married. Yeah, I was thinking of them. If, you know, if, if that's them. they 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 do that, and that's also a symbolism mm, mm, of mm, their love and sure. and adornment, sure, sure, so that sure. they look beautiful on their wedding mm, day. Mm. I've had a few henna tattoos in my ah, life, right. and I loved them mm, for mm, that week a week and a half, mm, and mm. they were beautiful. You know, because it was something that would make me happy mm, at that mm. time. Then I knew it was away. temporary. Mm. And then it goes away, mm, you mm. know. So are you doing this, you know, for culture? Are you doing this for, there has to be a reason why. I feel yeah, for a healthy reason. I was about to say, as a Christian, there has to be a healthy reason, reason yeah, yeah. as to why. why Not because now you are rebelling against religion mm, itself mm, then mm, therefore mm. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. you know Obama Fundis is living his best life yeah. and then now you are you busy rebelling t- against t- the t- person even rebelling against your parents yeah that's yeah, right. fine because of course as your parent but at the end of the day you're the one who's going to have to yeah. live with this yeah. me I'm living my best life yeah. without my tattoos yeah. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. and now you've got a big ass tattoo on the side of your face mm. and what Who's then? gonna take it seriously? Yeah. What then? Mm. What you you are limiting the industries and the pathways that you the can take in life. Can and have, the, right? Exactly, yeah, because yeah. people judge you at face value. They do. Whether we they like do. it or not, they do. whether we like it or not, people judge you at face value. And we are very very far from changing that. Exactly, uh, like yeah. like okay. very very far. As much as Scripture says what it says, we go to the Lord wants what's inside mm, mm. we are still human beings yes, and we yes. still judge you and there has to be a level of being presentable e- exactly that we carry. you know this this a friend of mine i was telling you about who got her tattoos before mm. she was saved so after she's now saved years into the church she then tells a friend Uguti, she wants to um get another tattoo mm. And the friend was like, well, you'll just be known as the, uh, the girl with the tattoos. <laughs> and she felt so judged. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, she felt yeah, so judged. Yeah. Uguti, I'm coming to you as my friend, telling you this is what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. And then when are you turning it back to me yeah, in judgment? In, in a very negative way. So now who's wrong here? Yeah. The, yeah. the one who wants to get the Not tattoo? Not the one who wants the tattoo. No, the one who's the condemning, one who's the, condemning other. the other yeah. one. So, so this, this really speaks to our attitude mm. towards people who have tattoos. In mm-hmm. Christian circles or in whatever religion you're part of, yeah. So we become so judgmental and condemning in the church, mm. and people find it hard to be part of our community. Mm. Not just on tattoos, but on so many other things yeah. that because it's my preference yes. that I don't like it. Yes. So I make it a standard for, yes. for, yes. for godliness. For godliness, yeah. it's it's like um, church growing up mm. where. As a young girl, you were expected also to go skate the figure, mm. your ankles, mm. you weren't allowed to show shoulders, yeah. no lipstick, no makeup. Yeah. You know, and as that, that, that verse I read in First mm. Timothy, it mm. says that, right? Yeah. It, it, it says, yeah. but the context under which this was said. That's where the difference is. Yeah. That's where the difference is. Now, these things are used to oppress people. Yes. Yes. You know, and I remember in the women's conference where Shumayela SJ, you you look like a a lady of the night. Hey. And then at some point, another lady called her to the side. Mm. What did you actually realize? So you can't be preaching this to our young girls mm. because you are damaging them. Their mm. husbands are gonna go and cheat with the mm. ladies that wear those. Yes. Things. Yes. So when are you are preaching to young women, yeah. wanting them to look like you. I don't think she heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she heard. You want to cook a young girls, you want to age them. Yeah. You are not yeah. letting them experience life. <laughs> I think they call it holiness. But it's not, <laughs> it's not though. Holiness. It's not because if it's coming from a place of vindictiveness, yeah. not from a place of of trying to guide and mold mm, young girls, mm, mm, you know, mm. like like I've I've got a teenage daughter, mm. believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know I've got a teenage daughter, and she's at a phase where 
there's a certain level of rebellion that mm. she wants to experience. Mm. Like lip gloss is not allowed at school. Oh, okay. You know. And she's like, no, mama, when I walk in through the gate, I don't have it on. But as soon as I get to the bathroom, then I just put a little bit, you know. That's, this is a, but, and I'm like, oh, that's light rebellion because yeah. it, it's staged that, <laughs> yeah. that she's in, you know. And then on, on the weekends when she goes out, then she goes full on goth with her makeup. Oh, and I'm geez. like, hey, this is the sta- And guess what? I buy that eyeliner. You're the one who buys it. I mean, yeah, you understand? Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like, is she being guided into this mm. or am I just saying go? Yeah, run, yeah, be wild, yeah, run yeah, free. Yeah, 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 you. you know, so you. is 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 that a thing? Even mm. when I cut my hair, mm. you know, mm. most of you will know I had massive hair. Yeah. And even Huge when I effort. cut my hair, my cousin was like, "How is usukunde umkelewak?" Because he viewed my yeah. hair as my yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it it all depends on how you view it yes. and where you coming from. Are you coming from a place of love? Yes. Yes, and also to be to be humble enough yes. to say that I may be wrong. Right. I am probably not right. Yes, and and you can no, never always have it right. Yeah. And no, no, no. No matter how strongly you feel about something, mm. you must always know yeah. you could be wrong. Wrong, exactly. And surrounding yourself with people who are honest and mm. whose honesty comes from a place of love. Yeah. yeah. That's what you want to have on your forehead and yeah, your nose. Yeah. It's not the one. Yeah. For, like, for instance, for me, I wouldn't do a face tattoo. They, I, would, I, I wouldn't they, either. They creep me out. But, but funny enough, time, women do face tattoos. They do. Permanent makeup. Oh, yes. Permanent yes, makeup. Yes, Those yes, are face yes, 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 yes. Oh, you right. I had a teacher in mm. high school and she was like, oh, I need to go back to Joburg because it was only done in Joburg oh, where her eyeliner was just and permanent. her brows uh. were permanent. And women do this so all she the time. So she wanted to come and uh, renew. and Yes, to renew <laughs> and, and, and do that. Right. Women do face tattoos. When Cindy Crawford was, was, was a model yeah. back in the 80s yeah, and yeah. the early 90s, yeah. she had a mole on the side of her cheek. Yeah. La la la. Wasn't that real? It was real, right. but some people ended up having tattoos of that of mole that because she set a standard. Yes, right. and just, you know, if you were like me, it was it's a line. <laughs> it was a pencil line up back then. With a tumpa on your face. With a tumpa on my face because Cindy Crawford has it. Because tumpas were sexy at some point. <laughs> right? Look at the evolution of a Chris Brown. Right. When a Chris Brown oh, came in, mad. beautiful, clean skin, unga mbona man. something else. But does that take away from his music? I won't talk about Lil Wayne. Story for okay, another no, that's story, story for another, another day. day. <laughs> but, but do you understand? Oh, Chris Brown, does yeah. that take away from his, his music? music yeah. Or, 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 or who he, Justin Bieber? Or who he is as a person. Exactly. Justin mm. Bieber as well. You Man. know, with all his tattoos yeah. and, and his drug addiction and, yeah. and things like that. He's he, a born again child point, of God. Exactly. He found Christ. Yeah, he's a born again child of God. He found Christ. He got married. He yeah. found Christ. Yeah. So are you trying to tell me, Ugo, to those tattoos, are they going to hold them back as people? Can't. We are going to get to heaven and realize that the people who are, who are here, we are surprised. <laughs> Good to know, Orlando. I know. <laughs> we'll find people in heaven we never thought. Yeah, because to... our, you know... Our standards for righteousness and holiness are just whack. Mm, it's crazy. Yes. But yeah, that's yeah. yeah. That, so that's what we think about it. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's uh, our conversation about Tell it. Tell us, guys. What the, do you think? What do you think? Because we would tattoos. really love to hear what you guys think yeah. about tattoos. Um, connect Confusions. with us on yeah. on our socials. Connect with us on on our really email addresses. Yes. Do, but do the main the main email address is hello. Hello. But yes. number of month from the person guys. <laughs> yes. It's do do at the end Christian podcast. So guys <laughs> Oh yes that one. <laughs> ah, South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um so but yeah l- let us know what, what you think. Let us know how you have felt judged mm. and 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 you were told off and just because at first sight you had yep. a tattoo and I feel when my mother and I walk each other way, also yeah, it's hard when you're corner your first day in corporate, yeah, yeah. or how you were shunned from your church yeah. because of of your tattoos yep. and how you were accepted at the most weirdest of places yeah. and you have found camaraderie yeah. in those places because of your piercings yeah. and yeah. and your tattoos yeah. and send us pictures of of what you look like show with your us. tattoos show, show us. us you know share with us we yeah. would love to see maybe it is motivator what's an nice tattoo i mean yeah this year going is it i'm going when I, when I say, I'm, I'm doing it this year I'm you're doing, doing it, it this yeah, year yeah, 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 yeah. i mean i've been saying that when i turn 21 <laughs> guys 21 plus that <laughs> i still haven't you are deep within that right now so. i'm deep within <laughs> 
it's time. So you think it's time? You think it's time? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I've always had ideas, though, of, of what yeah. I wanted to uh, get. So, uh, uh, yeah, th- those have always been there. But to uh, actually I'm go gonna, I'm gonna come show you guys. it... And and they're like, no, the place where you want to have your tattoo, Ugh. that's the most painful place. Ugh. I'm like, but that's the painful, that's the, that's the one place that sags the least when I age. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. There are those things to think about. You know, you need to consider. <laughs> yeah. you know? And I love how in, in women's teens and early 20s, they have these massive tattoos mm-hmm. on their stomachs mm-hmm. and on the size of their bodies. Yeah. And I'm like, so what's going to happen when you have a baby? <laughs> Who's a bonagal? Who's a bonagal? The funniest one I saw was someone who had a tattoo somewhere around their waist. Oh, Jesus. And then they had an operation, a cosmetic surgery, and then half the tattoo was gone. Gone. <laughs> But yeah, it did not look. <laughs> it did not look right. Yeah. It did not look right. So you know, it's things like that you need to just consider. consider. We don't all have Cardi B's money where we can yeah. have a tattoo, a yeah. massive one on yeah, our yeah, thigh, yeah. and get one of the best yeah. tattoo artists in Hollywood to, to come it. and brush it up. Yeah. And when we get our bum implants, to get them <laughs> yes, done yes, right, yes. guys. It, not all of us. So yeah. I think this is a long term. It is. You must decision. think of the future. When yes. the main thing from our conversation to, to say, go into it eyes open. Eyes open. Mm-hmm. And consider the right things. Yes. But do not bash people using a non-existent biblical mm. standard. Yes. Doesn't yes. Exist. So do not condemn what Jesus is not condemning. That's and right. it says, That's right. if Jesus were to be here today, yeah, probably. Or in the most serious ah, places, probably. because probably. that's where you find the souls that need to be saved, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Not at the church. Yeah. Jesus was not afraid of controversy. No, he was not afraid of, of controversy oh, at all. Absolutely. And he would also ask, Uguti, so you would rather I follow law mm. than mm. I do what is needed, is needed. to help absolutely. and save yeah, a man. soul. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, so I think that's what this is all about. Absolutely. Right? Go into it, search yourself, yeah. your reasoning, and yeah. go into it eyes open, but with the right reason. Yeah. Yep. And that's us today. And that's us with another unchristian yeah. topic. Yeah. And welcome to me, guys, again. For yes, Google welcome Google. to her. Welcome to her. <laughs> subscribe, please, guys. Come on, please subscribe. And let's grow the channel and let us uh, grow this community. Yeah, we almost at 10,000 now. Almost there. Almost, almost at 10,000, there. Guys. Yes, in. So, please, by June, I think we'll go to June. Oh, okay. Before June. Before June, we would have hit 10,000. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but All right. No, see, I'm 10, guys. <laughs> Uh, Santander 40. Yeah. And thank you very much All right, for guys. today. Susan Bonafoot, next time. Ta ta. Cheers.